Today, I will introduce Lens Protocol. And this is a Web3 social graph. And uh, it is quite different with Web2 social platforms. Well, how Web3 social platforms differ from Web2s. So uh, today, I will introduce the underlying logic of Lens Protocol and to uh, help you guys understand the architecture and the and the logic of Lens Protocol, and you will understand how a bunch of Web three social platforms and what they build and what what uh, they're going to uh, what what they're going to develop. So uh, actually, they share similar philosophy in uh, design and architecture. And to, and let's start. So uh, before I introduce Lens Protocol. We just uh, to know some background of social platforms, and uh, we also are to uh, we are similar with the Web two social platform that we are uh, that that we use in uh, what we we used it uh, we used in like the Twitter and Instagram, TikTok or Facebook. This is our mostly used with Web two social platforms, but. As you, but by you think of, think of it twice, you will know that they they all have they, they all share similar com components, abstract components, uh, in all of these Web two social platforms. So what is what are they? What what are the key components of a social platform, especially a Web two social platform? And uh, if you think if you think deeper, you know that there is an identity profile. There's a social account. You, if you want to tweet something, you need to have an account, right? And uh, on Facebook or on Twitter or even TikTok. And then the something that you, t you tweet or something that you publish is, it, it can be a message or a blog or a video, audio or any, anything that you uh, write something or share something uh, in the internet. We, we say that these are publications. So is we abstract this of uh, we abstract this content and we say publications. So the format of these publications can be anything, it can be message, a text, or videos or audios. And also, you can just command other people's publications. You can follow other people's uh, publications. This is a second logical, a uh, second abstract component. And the third abstract com component is the relationships. You know that if you use Twitter, there are followers, right? If you follow me and I follow you, we are friends. Uh, so if someone, if, if someone uh, doesn't follow you and you don't follow, follow her, so you, are, you, you and this, uh, this guy are strangers, right? He's a stranger to you. And the last one is exclusiveness. This means that you may share contents with uh, specified members, but someone that you know or someone that you want to share with, uh, it can we call this kind of uh, we call these people members or uh, super followers or s subscribers. You can see that this kind of relationship on uh, on like YouTube uh, some some. Uh, some bloggers might just uh, exclusively share share their content with, uh, with 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 people that subscribe their accounts or subscribe their services. So uh, these four components, these four all say properties define a Web two social platform. And you can you can uh, you can see more examples the Web two social platforms. All of them have these two, these four components, these four property, you know, identity profile and publications, relationships, and your relationship with, uh, with another identity in a social platform and uh, exclusive. You, you follow her or she follows you or you it sub subscribes to your content service or you subscribe hers and uh, maybe there is a club like uh you know the facebook club exclusive to some specified members so 
this is a key component of Web2 social platform. This is their, uh, they, they have all, they have these components in common, right? So next, but they, but at the same time, they have problems. So what do users gain and loss and lose in a Web2 social platform? This is something, and this is the thing that we need to think about. And users should care about what they benefit or uh, what, what they can benefit from a Web2 social platform. So uh, I will introduce the current landscape of Web2 social platform and how they make money and what's their business model. This is, uh, th this is very important. And it drives the it drives the birth of Web three social platforms. So the users, you know, we we use social platform because we want want to share information with other people, and we, and we want to read information that is published by other people, right? And we need to communicate with other people. This is a social platform. We can we connect with other people. We make friends, and we join some like clubs or to uh, announce something that make other people know. So users can gain fast con content and connections on social platforms. And all of these social pla platforms drive network effects. So the more user on the platform, the more value a social platform will, will have, right? But at the same time, uh, but, but at the same time, while we gain a lot of ben benefits from a social platform, we might lose something here. The first thing is our privacy. So maybe some users, maybe on Facebook, they, they're not aware of what they will lose when they are using the Facebook, when they are, uh, write something or share something. But actually, because Facebook is centralized and the centralized, and the centralized company can just share your d private data and you, your user behaviors or any, any new, anything about, about you to to a third party, maybe some uh, some other advertisement companies, or maybe maybe they just maybe someone that just wants wants your information. They they don't care about that, but they just click user data and sell it to a third party to make money from that. So otherwise, they you know Facebook is free, and it can use them, uh, and they need to need money to provide service serve uh, servers. And they need to provide uh, a, a lot of human resources to uh, to maintain the function functions of Facebook. But you, you as a user, you free you free use the, all of their functionalities and use their services. So uh, intuitively, they will gain something from you. So the privacy is one thing, and another thing is that you need to put up with advertisements because platforms make money from that. You know, when you see, uh, when, when you watch a video on YouTube and there are a lot of advertisement and you may, you may not like it, but uh, if, you, if you want to remove these advertisement, you need to pay or uh, you need to subscribe or to subscribe a membership, you, you need to uh, pay for it. And uh, at the same time, users cannot protect, protect their contents and profiles. Because platforms, you know, centralized platforms can delete your content without a reasonable excuse. So just like Donald Trump, you know, Twitter account has been banned. You know, uh, I don't think the, the the reason for buying Donald Trump is is very reasonable. And the last one is uh, users might waste time on account management and profile management. You know, there's a lot of hundreds of passwords. You use Facebook, then you use Twitter, and the LinkedIn or all of these social platforms. You need to remember the password and need to uh, change accounts uh, frequently. So it's free waste of time, right? And all of these platforms are isolated. If you want to follow someone, you know, you, you are a fan of somebody uh, on Twitter and you you want to know what exactly uh, this man, uh, this man d are doing, uh, this man is doing on Facebook or LinkedIn, but, but you, you don't know which account is, which account I need to, uh, you might need to change 
change it, change your account, and it's very, it's very, it's, it's really a waste of time. And uh, these platforms will not cooperate, and they, they, uh, they compete. Uh, they're com they're compete for your attention. All of these platforms want your attention, but your attention is limited. So, uh, so this is the drawbacks of Web two social platforms, and especially for users, they. Uh, they uh, spend a lot, and they there is a lot of cost for uh, free freely using these Web two social platforms. So let's see how Lens Protocol solve this problem, and, and how uh, and, and how Lens Protocol uh, uh, beats Web two social platforms. So we 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 can see there there's a uh, this is an architecture and this abstract architecture of lens protocol. And actually, lens protocol is a social graph. This is the official name of, of, uh, of lens protocol. And I can, a can view it as an abstract social layer that abstracts the key components of social platforms. So we, we, we first see the right-hand side. These are two social, web two social platforms. And you, you can see that platform one, Alice, this is a profile, identity, identity profile. You can view it as an account. And Bob is also an account. You can you just think about Twitter and, uh, or uh, like Medium or uh, any, anything. Alice is subscribe Bob's content service. So uh, Bob's blogs are accessible to Alice. But Alice, is, but, but, but things Bob has not subscribed Alice content. So Alice's blogs is, are not uh, accessible to Bob's. So, uh, so does platform two. And these two platforms are isolated. So if, so that is to say that if Alice want to, uh, want to see Bob's content, she needs to subscribe twice. And, and uh, both in the platform one and platform two, right? But you can, uh, but now you can see the uh, left hand side, the lens, how, how lens protocol solve this problem and the lens protocol and the architecture of lens protocol. So uh, actually the above, the this, the pro profile A and profile B are two abstract profiles. It can be Alice, Bob, or anybody. And if Alice subscribe Bob, and all Alice publications, uh, all Bob's publications are accessible to, to Alice. So actually the social platform, a social platform built on lens protocol is actually a extend, extended function, extended function layer. It's like a, a it like, it's like a front end layer of lens protocol. And lens protocol is a, is a middleware, or you can say it is an infrastructure of Web3 social platforms. So lens protocol abstract this, abstract this logic, right? So if platform A, you can see that is, if platform, platform one is a YouTube, just like lens tube, he used a module modules of lens protocol and for example that there is publication modules he can use that uh, he can uh, specify the functions and content formats for example he can spec uh, this platform can specify content format as a video you know people can share video on platform one so it just uh, it, the only thing this platform need to do is to uh, is to use publication module and then specify that users on this platform can only share videos. And uh, the profile, he can just directly use the profile on Lens Protocol and the subscribe functionality, or he can specify some new functionality on the, uh, based on Lens Protocol. And uh, the, re the relationship, all of these relationships and profiles uh, is uh, directly accessible in the platform one. and uh, publications, the platforms only need to change uh, the format of, of publications and to choose a, choose a place to store 
to store the user, uh, not user data, the, the, the publication data. For example, they can choose IPFS or uh, AR, or even a centralized uh, database like uh, AWS. So, so, uh, so, so Lens Protocol is actually, this definition, I think it makes sense because uh, Lens Protocol abstracts the fundamental logic of social platforms. So, and to make it in modules, so like, a, to, like blockchain, or uh, you can say Lens Protocol is a layer one of social platforms. So each platform can just directly use, use these modules and uh, they only need to change public, the format of publications and, and find a place to store user, users' publication and, and, uh, or to add something else. But uh, uh, underlying logic, underlying relationships, and the profiles is, uh, are all on Lens Protocol. So this is uh, key differences. So, uh, so in this way, if Alice subscribe Bob's content service, what will happen? The, so if, if this is the case, Alice subscribe Bob, right? Then on platform one, Alice subscribe Bob. On platform two, Alice subscribe Bob. But compared to the Lens Protocol solution, and this centralized solution is that Alice subscribe Bob on platform one, but uh, Alice is not necessarily subscribe Bob on platform two. So this is a key difference. Alice need to pay twice, uh, one in platform one and, and another in platform two. So because they are isolated. So if Alice want to, want, want to uh, see what Bob's have, uh, Bob, what Bob has shared. Uh, for example, Bob usually uh, share videos in YouTube and uh, also Bob publish some uh, blogs on Medium or uh, Facebook. So if Alice want to, to check Bob's content, then she needs to uh, uh, log in into two uh, with two social platforms. One is uh, like YouTube, another is also there are a lot of advertisement, right? Another is uh, Medium or Facebook, but, but here, in the uh, uh, Lens Protocol, Alice just Alice only need to do one thing: just click, just one click to check the Bob's profile. And under under Bob's profile, there are all of the contents are available to Alice. So both the videos and uh, blogs. So this is a key difference. The uh, uh, a lens, pro lens protocol just change the architecture of Web 2's social platforms and abstract their abstract their common common features and make it an infrastructure for uh, Web 3 social platform de develop new functionality based on based on it. So uh, if you are Web Web 2, if if you are Web 2 developer who wants to uh, to build a new social platform. So it's very complicated, right? It's complicated because you need to find a server and uh, you, you need to uh, define these uh, components and define, uh, uh, write a lot of code and to uh, uh, write a lot of code um, in Scratch. But in the Web3, so, uh, but on Linux protocol, you don't need to write some like this underlying logic. The underlying functionality, or underlying uh components has already have already been uh deployed so only thing you need to do is to use their sdk and uh, to build on lens protocol to just like to use some api use some apis and to uh to to create a new social platform very very fast uh here is a, here's an example. So you can see that I just shared, I shared a video on Lens2 uh, Web3 YouTube, and I recommend you guys to try this new product. I think it is very promising because uh, you, you can never see any uh, advertisement and it's very fast. It's very fast. It's, uh, also, uh, there's a lot of functionalities. For example, 
you can see here is a mirror. And, and if I mirror this video, I can uh, all all of our applications on Lens Protocol can uh, receive this information. For example, this is a uh, this is favor uh, um, mobile application built on Lens Protocol. And you can see if I I just click mirror and a mirror mirror is at is is a uh, similar to retweet or uh, forward like that. And once I mirror this video in one platform, all of other platform will be notified. And uh, and this is I this is not what I have typed. I just click mirror, and these contents are automatically on favor. You can see here, watch our video and know more about us. Uh, I don't tweet this. It's, it's because I'm, I'm mirrored on Lens 2. And then this uh, and then this video is available on favor. So it's very convenient. And all of the platforms share users and they share resources. And uh, they share these Twitter, uh, share profiles and relationships and share all of these abstract layers. So this is how, how this protocol us, uh, because they, it, you, you can just uh, think that Lens, Lens protocol is a, just like a road. And uh, this, th these are like, uh, these applications are uh, vehicles on this road. And so how, how to make this? All of these abstract components, such as profiles, publications, and relationships are, uh, they all NFTs stored on a blockchain. So if you, for example, I upload a video and this event will be, uh, uh, will be created on blockchain as an NFT. And, and, and if, I, if I publish something, like I make an announcement on the favor or Lancer, uh, uh, Web3 Twitter, Web3 Facebook on the Lens protocol. And they will, and the application will create a NFT for me on the blockchain. And there is a, uh, there's, a, it, it can be counted. And, the, and this NFTs uh, on a blockchain can be like, can be owned by someone else. So, you can sell this NFT to other people, or you can forward it, and you can count how many people follow. Uh, how many people follow you? You can see that I have two followers on this uh, in this application. So these two followers will is is, is two NFTs on blockchain. It's not be, it's not the followers is are NFTs. The events are NFT. So uh, if one people follows follows me, then this this event this relationship is an NFT stored on the blockchain. So uh, each NFT will be, is a, is a token, right? non fungible token. So if I want to want to create a club, exclusive club, I want to share contents just to early members, to our early members. For example, if I have 1,000 followers, uh, uh, or I just want to share contents to the first 100 followers. So I, I can just make an, uh, for uh, some something like uh, like the token gated clubs do, I, I can just uh, allow just I just make up make my contents exclusive to to this the first one hundred followers. And unlike Web two social platforms, Lens Protocol is like uh, Lens Protocol widens the functionalities and gives users ownership and decision making power. So you can define how this exclu exclusiveness uh, will be and how to uh, how how your followers pay uh, pay you and how how to uh, and there's a, some uh, how to make uh, make your contents and share your contents and and uh, on which platforms because if if you don't mirror these contents. These contents will not be available on our platforms. 
So an application on Lens Protocol is basically an extended function model, function module on Lens. It's like a roots and a branches, just like the uh, profile of Lens Protocol. So uh, this is how Web3 social platforms work. So it's not like a Web2's platform that all of uh, Web2 social platforms are isolated. And uh, I think it's very, uh, it's a waste of resources. But on Web3, they just build from the uh, layer by layer. And uh, there's a lot of, just like blockchain, DeFi, and uh, uh, NFTs, or all of these applications built on layer zero, layer one, layer two, layer three, something like this. Uh, so uh, as we understand, I will really understand how Lens Protocol works. And uh, there, are, um, there are a lot of applications on Lens Protocol. You, if, you can, if you want to test or want to use their products, you can go to the main website on Lens Protocol. And you can see there is a lot of applications and you can click it, just register, register in uh, Lens Profile. And then you will uh, you can compare it with the Web2 social platforms. So, uh, so for now, I, I think the the, uh, ba the the base of two are uh, are Lenster and uh, Lens2. A favorite is uh, it's also very uh, user friendly. You can just download download app uh, a favorite app from the App Store. So it's it's, it's a mobile it's a mobile application. Uh, so so let's see opportunities. So what should a crypto investor think and do if Lens Protocol gets mass adoption? This is, this is a, an important thing that we need to care because we have a lot of community members in our uh, in, in GCR is, is, is actually a retail investor in Web3 space, right? So, uh, so one, uh, the first question we need to care about is uh, Lens Protocol. It, well, Lens Protocol issue tokens. As we know, Lens Protocol is launched by the team behind uh, AV, right? And they might do additional fundraising for Lens. So currently, uh, there's no, uh, uh, Lens Protocol has not raised any funds. But uh, they might raise in the future, but they might not. Because uh, as, we, as we can see that recently, the, the team behind Lens Protocol it's like uh, the team behind IV issued a new stablecoin, and it's, it's plan plans to issue a stablecoin, a GHO, and it's backed by uh, by IV. And so this might be a choice to inc uh, might be a choice for the team. They can just incorporate the stablecoin into Lens ecosystem because it's uh, you know it's a social platform. A stablecoin is more important to social platform than uh, I think the unstable coins. You know, if you use Bitcoin as a social platform, your users might concern, might be concerned about uh, uh, about the uh, price uh, price dynamics of of, of Bitcoin. But a stable coin is, is better as just like a Apple Pay or and 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 in payment in the real world. And this function can uh, better for the non-crypto users. So I, I think uh, uh, the stablecoin GHO might be a use case for for the Lens protocol. And so this is a this is one uh, direction. So following this logic, if if this is a case, RV should be more valuable as Lens protocol evolves, right? So actually, I buy some buy some RV uh, recently. And another, another uh, direction is, is they can just issue tokens, may do some fundraising in the future, maybe a, 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 a platform native token for Lens Protocol, just like many other uh, infrastructures, like uh, uh, the graph or uh, other uh, layer ones. So I, I, I personally think that they might uh, they might incorporate the stablecoin GHO. I think this might be uh, on your roadmap. So it's just just my guess.
So another thing that we need to care about is who will be the, uh, who, who other will benefit from Lens Protocol's growth. So intuitively, we should know what Lens Protocol relies on, right? If Lens Protocol evolves, so uh, what this protocol will, what, what other protocols will Lens Protocol use? So f the first thing is they need a lot of storage, right? And uh, in the Web3 spirit, the, I think most applications won't use AWS, which is centralized. I think most uh, applications, as uh, mostly used now, are um, AR and IPFS. These two are mostly used uh, by applications on Lens. So I think uh, I think if if Lens protocol uh, get mass adoption, AR will uh, I think is 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 really an opportunity, and now the price is very low. The second one is the video sharing platforms like Lens Two. It's very user friendly this platform. If you can check, uh, they need decentralized video infrastructures like Lens Lens Two collaborate with Live Peer, and Live Peer is a is a, a decentralized video infrastructure and it provides a lot of uh, convenience and functionality for video sharing platforms. So, uh, uh, so uh, at Live Peer, I think it's, it's also very promising if the Web3 social platforms uh, evolve or get mass adoption. So, so uh, these two, uh, Airweave and uh, Live Peer, are the two that I uh, uh, that 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 I bought recently, yeah, I, I think they are very promising. So uh, you, you can see right hand side the picture, the lens protocol, uh, the lens protocol, uh, the the growth of lens protocol. There are more than fi uh, fifty thousand profiles on lens protocol just uh, uh, in eighty days. Yeah. You can even check check the growth and uh, do analytics. It grows very fast, I think, and a lot of, gets a lot of attention, especially in the crypto industry. So the, the main problem is that how to uh, scale. This is the main problem because they are built on blockchain. It's not just like a Web2 platforms and people and users can uh, easily create an account and download from App Store and then uh, to st start using it, but for Web three social platform, you the uh, basic requirement is that you need an, you, you you need to create an account uh, based on your crypto wa wallet. If you don't have a wallet, how how can you just uh, try try? How can you use a product Web three social platform? So I, this is the this is a limitation of Web three social platform. And we, we should remember that Web3 social platform bring fairness and, and bring a, a healthy ecosystem or to a, a healthier environment for users and bring additional security for users. But the, but the trade-off is that they will sacri sacrifice some efficiencies. Sacrifice efficiency. The one thing is smoothness. Important selling point of social platform is efficiency and their fast information flow. If you try uh, Facebook or Twitter, so it because they are uh, very smooth, and uh, if Twitter lowers the uh, information like information speed, and it, you, you might take you might need to uh, you think about if you need to wait five or one to five minutes to. Uh, for uh, to to update update the state, and, and I think you will be anno you will be annoying, right? And the more the better efficiency will bring more more users. This is the truth. So applications on Lens protocol require users to interact with their crypto wallets frequently. This is drawback of uh, Lens protocol. So even though that Polygon you know is very fast and it's cheap. But compared to most Web2 platforms, its efficiency is still insufficient, right? The, so what blockchain actually, the interaction with the blockchain actually 
and actually harm the efficiency of, of a social platform. But I, uh, but but I think uh, so. So for for layer ones like uh, Ethereum or uh, like Ethereum can I think it cannot uh, the web web three social platform cannot build on Ethereum because uh, it's very expensive, you know. And uh, uh, if you want to interact with uh, with our people on a Web three social platform that built on Ethereum, it 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 takes you a lot of time and, and money. So uh, I, I think it's not possible. So currently, I think a Polygon is a basic choice. Pays a choice. That's why uh, the team choose Polygon. I think. But in the future, uh, there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of layer ones like uh, the Move language and uh, like um, um, uh, uh, like the Reston two uh, founded by by the uh, by uh, Facebook. Uh, I I think they they are very promising if they can bring a lot of efficiency. So, but on the other hand, the content sharing platforms such as like YouTube, YouTube d doesn't require a lot of interactions. You know, you what you can what you do is just watch videos. I watch videos. You might comment some, might might comment something, uh, after you after watch other watching and but most of but their most of focus is, is on their content and it might be a web 2 content sharing platform by minimizing the user loss for example you users uh privacy and uh it removes uh, advertisements and users can make choice make, make their own choice to accept or reject advertisements or they can protect their own data and uh, mm -hmm. their content can be protected by blockchain. So, so uh, I, I think I think the success of a Web three platform depends on uh, the extent that uh, the platform is rely on the efficiency. And the, uh, the second one is the user base, just like we have discussed. As we know that applications on Lens protocol requires users to use crypto wallets. So this feature is actually disincentivized non-crypto users. So therefore users for Lens protocol are confined to crypto users who own wallets. But I think Web3 social platforms might need to think about solutions to uh, simplify their usage or to uh, incorporate some features that uh, get more non-crypto users. Or just remove their rem needs, remove the needs of uh, uh, crypto wallets, or just uh, hide the interactions of, with with crypto wallets and give them some other uh, uh, other uh, concept that are easy easier to understand. So this is the uh, the thinking behind behind the Web three social platforms so all of uh apart from lens protocol there are uh, there are also a lot of uh, web3 social platforms that are uh doing their fundraising recently and uh so almost all of them share share same share same property and uh, especially for social graphs so they just abstract the abstract is the uh, fundamental fundamental components of the web2 social social platform and then make it an infrastructure for new, for web3 social platform build on it so this is the underlying logic so thank you this today's uh, uh today today's sharing so you might you might have some questions so so feel free to ask or you can tap in the Discord channel.
Any question? I think there are some questions in the voice lounge chat, Hang. Oh, I see. Uh, it's currently Lens Protocol is in their uh, beta version. I think they will upgrade and to incorporate more functionalities and features. So uh, to get mass adoption, uh, I think two folds. One, one is that uh, Lensboro can uh, in cop, uh, can get get out adoption by uh, free selling their uh, by allowing more users to create profiles on their platform. And and the second solution is that they can uh, secondly they can they can just re they can rely on rely on uh, their like project projects built on the Linux protocol. Some, some projects my uh, all of the uh, Web3 social platform on Linux protocol need users, right? So this platform platforms will uh, attract some users and to uh, get them some user profile. So uh, I think this, this might be the main strategy uh, currently Linux protocol use. But but this is a this is really a problem for the lens protocol. It's a limitation because because they it, it requires users to interact with crypto wallets. So without a profile, they cannot use applications on lens protocol. And with and uh, and they need frequently uh, interact with with uh, uh, with blockchain. So so I think they need to think about solutions to solve this problem. So how would developers integrate protocol into their products? Uh, the second question is that developers in integrate the protocol into their product. As, as you can see this picture, uh, you can see my slide, right? The web free solution, Lens protocol. It's actually this abstract layer of in the Lens protocol is a, is, is a module. If if you if you uh, if if you are a coder, you know that this this is a module. It's like an API. You can just directly use this API, and uh, it's like a black box. You can use this black box and define some. The code has already been uh, written by the Lens protocol. And uh, if you want to start a new platform, you can just define some functionalities based on their APIs. Is uh, make it, it makes developer easier to to build a new platform and it's very fast so so in this way we say that the developer in uh incorporate these modules into their products and they build a platform based on this protocol so it's actually uh the relationship between the layer one and layer two yeah just just like uh uh, natural uh, intrinsically they use use the code that has already been written by the lens protocol yeah uh, in this way so modules you think about apis if you don't know api you can just uh, google what is an api uh, the third question how, how does lens protocol compare and contrast with cyberconnect ceramics are they com uh no i think they are competitors uh they all social graphs Right, it's like uh, two social graphs will always be competitors. They will not share profiles with each other. So, uh, but but in the end, there will be a, a but one social graph can uh, can uh, incorporate so many uh, Web three social platforms. So that CyberConnect and uh, uh, Ceramics, I think I think they are not complementary. Yeah, they are competitors. Talk. Uh, can you talk through the economy a bit more? How do the apps use GSO or integrate with their native tokens or platform business models? Uh, actually, the the Web three applications. So you, you can think about that layer. Uh, Lens protocol is a layer one. It's like a layer one. You can think about Lens protocol is a Ethereum and Web three social platform are. Uh, like DeFi applications on Ethereum. So Lens Protocol will use, uh, and 
each these social platforms, like Web3 social platform, users want to interact with other pe other users, and they need to, um, they they need to use the smart contracts that have been written by Lens Protocol. So they interact with Lens Protocol and use their resources, right? So uh, they need to pay something, but but currently it's free. They need to pay. They need to pay Lens Protocol, and the Lens Protocol collect, collect fees from them and generate revenues. So, uh, so uh, intuitively, they can use uh, the GHO can be a currency in this ecosystem, and everyone can use GHO like they incorporate GHO and they can pay some products or pay anything in the it's like currency in the country, right? Uh, pay anything in the in the Lens Protocol, and, and also the Web three social platform a uh, uh, specified web3 the platform can issue their own tokens they can issue a platform tokens just like DeFi protocol issue a tokens on ethereum right it's the same thing just think about that lens protocol is an uh, infrastructure it's a it's, it's a layer zero or layer one and the other sort of platforms are layer two uh, there's place for gcr to operate on top of it I, I think so i really think so for example, the, for deal sharing, offer information, or even invest through a plugin. Yes, that that's I I I have thought of, uh, think about it. It's, it's I think it it uh, could be more convenient for GCR to share information in this platform. For example, you can uh, GCR can create a can create an account on Lens Protocol, and uh, it it can be uh, exclu exclusive to uh, specified members. Just meet some requirement that GCR can set a uh, uh, can set up something like right, to specify some requirements, and then followers, uh, specify followers can uh, get information from the GCR's uh, lens accounts and to see contents and to get deal information or anything else, or even create a club in the uh, based on lens protocol. I I I, ha uh, I think about that, and is I think it could be more convenient then uh discord or maybe uh in the future there will be more uh social platform or uh like uh communication communication applications built on this protocol yeah but currently i, I recommend that we, we can just create an account on it and to uh get more pe uh, get our community members to try their products and uh to see what what uh to see and compare with the uh, current solutions yeah this is this is sounds very interesting and uh yeah i i think so so uh next thanks to for the answer by regularly interacting with wallet the stops then from using it more freely by masses. We see that people are hesitant to log in and share data. Since the profile is on chain, don't you think there will be more stops than moving forward with? Yeah, uh, so just like, uh, just, just as I have mentioned, right, here. I think some, uh, some applications, some type, types of applications will, uh, will win. Uh, finally, if they don't require many interactions with blockchains, so this is really a real this is a real problem that uh, uh, that that web free social platforms meet. And if they rely on blockchain, they want to create a more like a more transparency. They want to create a more fairness or other benefits for users. They they need to sacrifice the efficiency. So they need they need to come up with a solution for it. But, but but I have no idea how they solve this problem. So uh, but at the same time, there will be a trade off, right? They they create some other uh, like uh, they minimize user loss and so will attract some type of users into their ecosystem. The next one is: Are these different social graphs potentially recreating something akin to Web two social media platform? Yes, absolutely. I think. And and all of Web two social platform or social media platform can can be uh, built on one social graph. So actually, one social graph. If one social graph wins, in the end, so it it will have a huge, like I, I think it's very huge. If one social graph wins, because it it will it can encompass uh, so many Web two 
uh, Web2 like uh, social platforms. And everybody share one profile on it. And like uh, Web2, Web LinkedIn, or uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of these can be built on Lens Protocol. So is a winner take all that? Yes, right. I, I, I have, I stand with this opinion. Yeah, because social graph is like uh, layer one. It's a, it's a layer one. And uh, uh, if we if we don't consider uh, the congestion property of of, uh, uh, of social platform, like congestion is, app, is, is something like uh, the, if there are so many users use the blockchain at the same time, that block, uh, Ethereum, like Ethereum will, uh, generate a high gas fee, so it will disincentivize uh, uh, more user activities. So if we uh, ignore these user congestions, I think it will be a game that a winner take all. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's why I, I think they might need, might incorporate a stable coin in their, into their ecosystem. Yeah, if, if everything is, uh, I think a stable coin will benefit real users. And uh, it's better for a uh, long term, uh, long term development. So uh, remove this price speculation and users can just rely on this stable. Uh, so uh, there is a stable coin and uh, uh, it's backed by, by uh, DeFi protocols. So this combination might be, uh, might be very powerful. I think, uh, I think the team behind Lens Protocol and RV are, are, are really, uh, I think they're really awesome. And they are always creating new things. Okay, any, any more questions? Limit to layer two, are there any plans for expanding our, uh, yeah, I, I think so, but currently Polygon is the best choice because it's fast, it's very fast and it's cheap. So uh, another blockchain, I think, uh, maybe uh, Solana can compare with uh, Polygon or near blockchain, but all of these two are, uh, I suppose of these two, uh, I think have some limitations. So maybe we can look forward to the development of new layer ones, like the move language based layer ones. For example, uh, 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 I forgot their name, but I, I know they, they are uh, created by uh, former, uh, former uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook people. Yeah, maybe they can try it, but it depends on the uh, social graph applications and on the team. I think this is a good taste for the current, uh, for current use. I think uh, it takes time to, uh, to get us a, 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 so, a, a real social graph that can be used by most people in the world. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, last question. Because time, I think uh, we probably need to end this meeting. So uh, last question. Uh, DSO is actually a layer one blockchain. A uh, lens is not, I think. A uh, lens is a is a, a social graph. It's an application. It's like a a a, a bunch of APIs. But DSO is a, is a blockchain. And, uh, is uh, is formal. DSO is uh before DSO is uh, is a big cloud, right? So so applications on DSO, I, I think has uh it's not it's. It's not as good as uh, the applications on Lens Protocol because they cannot solve the uh, profile problem, and uh, maybe they have different architectures. And to make developer, it, it make the development of new social platform more complicated. It's not com as convenient as uh, Lens Protocol. Yeah, but you can deep dive more into the DSO. But but I I, I personally prefer. Prefer Lens Protocol. I, I love their UI and uh, uh, current, especially Lens Two, the current video sharing platform. And uh, uh, th th this drives me to buy some Live here and AR recently. <laughs> yeah, this these two infrastructure are very important in the future social graph computation.
Okay, thanks. So uh, probably we need to end this meeting because it has been an hour. So uh, thank you.